I, I remember when I was doing lots of experiments, when I was more mm. active in the lab, I would wake up in the middle of the night having dreamt the, how to do the next part of the experiment. Yeah, dreams are actually really helpful in solving your problems because sometimes you wake up and you're like, oh my god. Oh, so it's not just me, <laughs> that's good to hear. <laughs> when I was young, my grandmother was going through chemotherapy. She had breast cancer and one of my earliest memories of her that I have is her wearing a wig and coming back, joining the family at family, family events and wondering well, why she was sick. Ten years later, I was speaking to her about the time she was going through chemotherapy. She said to me, although the, the chemotherapy saved her life, it took such a toll on her, she said she would, she would not choose to do that again. Um, and therefore, at the time, I thought, you know, how can how can a treatment that saves your life take such a big toll yeah. that you would choose not to have it again? I think it's been a, a challenge and it's been a struggle, but we've come such a long way and now we finally have something that's working really well and I'm excited to apply it. I want as many people as possible to be able to use <laughs> this method, so I want to get it out there. <laughs>